All right, guys, I'm going to go through with you how to download the TEF files and use those uh, with the free TEF View player that you can download to your computer. Um, all of my tab files are offered in both PDF and in the TEF file. So let's pick just a random um, tab file to download. Um, just make sure that you're logged in as either a Gold Pick member or a Lifetime member. Uh, intermediate Guitar, we're just going to grab one right quick. Let's grab Bag Elix 1. That's a very popular one. And I'm going to click here on the TEF file. And what you're going to, I'm using a, a Mac with a Firefox as my browser. So it may look a little different if you're using Internet Explorer or a, a PC. Um, but what's important here is that we choose to save the file, not to open the file. And the reason why you want to do that is because your computer, especially if you don't have a TEFView program on it, and even after you do have it installed, probably doesn't know to use the TEFView to open the file. So it'll try to open it in some kind of uh, text edit file, and it'll look like just a bunch of jumbled um, letters and numbers, and you'll think it's broke, and it's not. So we want to save file, and we want to know where our files are being saved whenever we download files from the Internet. That's important because we're going to have to locate the file in a little while. So I save that file. I know that my saved files are located in my downloads, and sure enough, I see it there, Guitar Bag of Licks. Okay, next thing I want to do, if I don't have the TEF View player yet, I want to go to, I want to open up a new tab and go to T-A-B, W-W-W if you want, T-A-B-L-E-D-I-T, -E like Table Dit or Table dit.com. When we go there, we want to click on the TEF View Free. We don't want the Tablet Edit Now. That's the paying program that I used to write it. We want TEF View Free, and then we want to click Download, okay, or maybe Install. No, actually, we're just going to, the Install button shows you how to install it. If you have a Windows machine, you want to use the EXE button there. I have a Mac. Um, I have a Lion, so I'm going to do the DMG. We're going to save the file. It's downloaded that file as well. So I will go here, click that, and I'm going to install it on my computer. Now that I have it installed here on the computer, I can open that. And there we go. The file is now open, or the program is now open. Now, you can customize this to look however you want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and close down the fingerboard. I don't want to see that right now. I'm actually going to take it over to a different window just so we don't have the browser in the background. And I want to open a TEF file that I've downloaded. So we're going to go up to File, to Open, and then I'm going to go to my Downloads because that's where I know that I... Um, stored that. I have all these different TEF files here, but we downloaded Guitar Bagalix 1. I'm going to click open. Bam! It opens it for me. If I hit the space bar, it shows it right there. Okay, let me make this window just a little bit bigger for you so we can see it. Now, as you can see, when I originally, the default settings show both the tab and the music. Let's say I don't want to see uh, the music, okay? Um, see how we do that. I think we go to, yep, we go to preferences. Remember, this is on a Mac. It may be a little different on the PC. I'm going to, I do not want to see the notation. So I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to hit OK. And then as we can see, now we just see the tab. Um, now most of my tabs have a backup rhythm track written in as well. So the lead track will be on the module one here. Then if you'll click on module two, you will see the notes for the backup track. Okay, so, and you can hear those when you play from here. So if I click down here and hit my space bar, you hear the backup. Now, if you want to practice your lead and you just want to hear the backup, I can click on this little green bar on the first module, which is the acoustic guitar, and it's going to turn it red and it's going to mute the uh, lead track. We can still see the tab, but our backup will be playing in the background. If you want to change your volumes of the backup versus the lead, I can go here, click on that little speaker there. We can also control the tempo 
all kinds of different things, even the sounds that we're getting for each, for either the backup or the lead. So I just turn the volume up, it should be a little louder now. It is. So I can practice along there. If I want to hear the uh, lead track, I just unmute it. Maybe I want to slow it down a little bit so that we can play along as we're learning. And now it's nice and slow. And that is the TEF um, view player explained from, a, from the Mac point of view. It's very similar if you're doing it from the PC point of view. And um, that should answer most all your questions. Thanks.